Hey, good evening. Welcome to another uh, Buckman's Model Mania. Tonight I'll be working on the Volkswagen T1 Samba from Diagostini again. And we'll be working on stages 18 through 22. Todd is here again as the uh, um, producer. And, you know, he'll catch chat as it comes in. Oh, good. I have my first viewer. I, lo I was looking up there, Todd, and I'm like, zero. Hey. I have zero viewers. I'm sad. <laughs> nope, nobody loves us. That's the way it goes. That's okay. I don't love anybody either. Oh, wait. Maybe they do love us now. There's three. Oh, here they come. <clears throat> yep. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the primary camera, and uh, we'll start working on this. Well, Dave's so, here. I see that. Hey, Dave. Welcome. Hi, Dave. So I only have these two seats here right now, be, or tonight, because these are the only parts that I already have, or pieces that are already built that I'm going to be using tonight at all. Still got the everything behind me for the rest of the um, van, bus, bus or van, however you want to call it. Maybe these scissors weren't the greatest idea. These these scissors are really sharp when you first start with them. But when they start getting dull, they don't cut very well. So I've got... That is part of the uh, cab. Or not cab, the uh, driver's area. A couple of screws forget what this is. I actually, I actually looked through everything, and then this will be underneath. I think that actually, that the uh, striations there actually were, are going to make this I forgot to turn that one back on. Make it, the seat click in place. So let me get this open. Let's see, what is that part called? It is the seat lock. So maybe. That kind of looks like it based on where it goes. And these are DP04. I don't think I have a location labeled for BP04 yet. I do not. Ah, there it is. I was sitting there looking, where's the label maker? Because I keep it handy just for this. Doing stuff on the fly. And I love these labels because they're, unlike some stickers you get, they're split in the middle so that you can actually get them started easily and again the p on the bp denotes that it's going into plastic so it will not get oil whereas the d ones usually mean that they're going into uh metal oh i'm all kinds of ready tonight todd don't even have the screwdriver set up yet it's better than it used to be. I used to go, wait, screwdriver's still in the drawer. So let me see. Let's go this, this way. And these are the tracks that the seat is going to actually sit on. And there's a similar set of um, grooves there or tracks. So that the ones from the seat, if I can get it right off while I'm on the camera, the ones for the seat are going to sit down inside the ones for the, from the floor. Turn this over. Ah, there's, you said it looked like there would be locking points. Locking points are right here. So you got three positions for the seat. Oh, that's kind of cute. It is. And it's better than the DeLorean seats were. 
especially if you did your own carpets, which I did. <laughs> I put felt in there, and oh man, once I got the once I got the felt down, those seats did not want to move at all. What see. is that high pitch squeal? That is my wife making a cake. Oh, that's our. Uh, I forget what the I forget what the professional standard um, mixer is, but she has one. Oh, like yeah, a really aid? nice one, huh? A KitchenAid. Yes, that's it. Like the king of all mixers. Yep. Well, with plus millions of attachments that let you make do everything except for like make coffee. So you can hear. Ow, that didn't sound good. Moving forward, it catches a little. It's just better. Now that it's worked a little bit, see, you got this. Yeah, maybe. Won't be moving the seat very often. I wonder, because it sounds like it's catching on um striations in the plastic but i don't see any so let me put it back in the center spot and the seat also to um get the tire out seat has to be moved forward as well oh kick to the left front seat kick it up to the Pardon? next level she is mixing yep. left front seat Just looking to see which side. Okay. Rounded corners on this end go towards the passenger side. And there's a lug here and here with screw holes in them. What's funny is every now and then during the uh, Sunday stream, she'll poke her head in, you know, try and be quiet and not let anybody hear her. Yeah, I have to hassle her tonight now. <laughs> your, your, so your, microphone, your, your microphone's too good. Uh huh. Oh, it, yeah. It well, that's the thing is I didn't go with a uh, cheapo mic. I got a Yeti Nano here on the desktop, and I'm not saying that because I know I think you use the one from the no. You use a headset, don't you? No, I have an I have an external mic. It's something I found on Amazon. get this bit that one bit wasn't working very well and then i dropped it in the track between so let me try this see if i can get this all the way down oh yay that that head is too big I don't know if you can hear what my wife is saying, but she's talking about Apollo in the backyard where their dogs behind us, their dogs want to come over. He wants to go over there. I don't think it would be a good good thing if they got together because they've never actually met. But they are all about the same size. Okay, so sadly, that's it. <laughs> What is this bottom compartment? Uh oh. So I guess this will be under be underneath the seat. So the, that's where you'd throw your wallet or your cell phone. <laughs> yeah, 1966. You throw your cell phone in there. I'm thinking probably not. So I, I found out who started our stream early last time. Who was it? I'm not telling. I'll, I'll expose that that secret information on uh, Friday's stream. But StreamYard support got back to me and goes, yes, this user started it. I'm like, oh. Eric? I'm not Was telling. Eric? I'm not telling. <laughs> well, it, it could only be one of five. 
That's true. And it's not you or me, so. And it's what's funny is they didn't fess up. <laughs> Oops, it was me. So this is where the spare tire is going to go. This will go. Don't think I've got any. Oh, there are screws. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think I have any screws, but the, this will go on here. Lugs on the bottom here. Matching up with the sockets on here. And I'm, I'm guessing. I have not looked at the instructions. Should go on there about like that. BPO fives. More screws. Ah, uh, before that, before this goes on here, though. Actually, does it go on in this? No, it doesn't. It just sits there for this stage. But before that goes on there, the uh, passenger seat needs to go on. Before that, let me make a quick label. I love my label my maker. I don't know how many years ago it was that I bought it, but it is so convenient. Every now and then I'll go insane and I'll start putting labels on everything. <laughs> it's like when I cleaned up our uh, utility room, I went out there with the label maker as I was doing it. And I was like, you know, the biggest problem with this is we don't know where we put anything. So I labeled every door. Except for, like I said, my wife's making a cake. I didn't label a door with bunch pan. <laughs> so she didn't know where it was. My typing is not too loud, is it? I can mute. Huh? My typing? Pardon? I'm no. Good. Okay. I just want to make sure. You working on your uh, website? I am getting ready to post the um, Titanic pages. For pack six and all the paint work I did and everything. So I'm looking, like I said on here, when I built the seat, you see those hooks. I never showed the hooks this close, but you got the hooks here and the latches here. Wait, what? It uses those hooks? hooks. Are they meant yeah. to be removable? Is that why? Pardon? They're meant to be removable? Yes. Well, the thing is, the seat, behind the seat is where the spare tire goes. No, but I figured they just leaned forward. I didn't realize the seats actually came out. Oh, no. It, it's not supposed to come out. Oh, I, I mean, thought they, they, when they pop in, they you can slide them back and pop the seat out, and that was by design. I'm, prob I'm sure you probably could, but once the van is put together, I'm willing to bet it's going to be next to impossible to get it out. My Dodge Caravan had the same type of thing. A couple of hooks on the floor, latches yeah. in the back. We, When we had the kids, when we, the kids were all with us, we had many, many Dodge Caravans. Let's see, that should be, yeah, that's the back location. So now they're even. And see, that's the thing, is in the actual van, this seat, locked in place other than you know lever somewhere here to release it so you can get the seat or the tire out this one here just like any other if i remember right i don't know for sure if it had a lever underneath here to uh move it forward and back make sure checked on the underside hooks are properly positioned so the function of these hooks is to lock the seat, the seat, but they must also be allowed to move forward by gently pulling forward. In other words, and they show it in the book. You just need to be able to do uh, not forward. Hang on. It says I should be able to pull them, release it by gently pulling forward, but I don't. Okay. Yeah. Once once this is solid down. Once it is a solid floor, it'll release when I pull it forward. I got you. Right now, it flexes. That's a very interesting design to use. Yeah, well, 
you got to remember, it's it truly is 60s technology. You know, and they're doing, from what I can tell, they're doing their best to emulate what was actually the actual van, which is really pretty cool to me, in my mind. Here we have the rear seats for which we have not done any rear seats at all. I was going to say, let me guess, BP06, and no, these are BP05s. Of note, the other ones, as well as these, were chrome. I guess if they're, I'm guessing they're going to be visible. So if you have visible screws, they're going to be chrome. So let me get this out of the way because the, instead of putting the rear tire and seat, um, rear floor and the tire holder in first, it has you position these five lugs over these tabs. and use the screws from the bottom, which is interesting because there's actually holes up at the top where the screws are gonna poke through. And Gordon is here. Hey, Gordon, welcome. Hi, Gordon. So I'm gonna go ahead and start in the middle. There's parts ensuring five hooks indicated. Turn pieces over so you can secure it with five screws. Gordon says, hi, Buck. Yep, oh, saw that. Don't forget to say hi to Todd, Gordon. Oh, he just okay. <laughs> Tyson, stop. I don't know if you heard him. Tyson, come here. Just saw on Discord it popped up. Apparently, Ian has been hired by Mediocre Modelers Group as a moderator. Oh, I see that. I don't think Andrea knew that Tyson was in here. Well, maybe our uh, Friday stream is going to be insane. Yeah. Gordon says he just got a notification, even though he said a reminder. Yeah, the reminders aren't great because, at least for me, they always they always send me a notification like thirty minutes early, and by then I forget. You know, because I see it on my phone, and I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, thirty minutes, and then I forget. And then yeah. it will pop another one when it goes live, but. Well, like when Eric does his game streams, I don't get any notifications whatsoever. Now, like I said, you can see the screw holes. Lots or not the screw holes, but the screw, the ends of the screws there. Take the parts are flush, aligned in the floor of two rows of seats, form a flat surface, which it does not have a step. Hey, I think I just got a notification that I'm going live. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I because I put it on both the um, my channel and HTM, I do get a notification that well, actually I get two notifications in my email. One that I'm going live on my channel and one that Somebody's going live on HTM. So here, you got six tab or six um, tabs, six lugs, and one of them is a little bit out of round. I don't think that's going to matter that much. But it's not wanting to stay together because it's a little bit off. You know, the 
uh, to me, it would have been better to put the seats on after you put the floor together. <coughs> hey, none of that. You're in Phoenix. You're not allowed to have a cold. Oh, it's not a cold. Ah, it's smog. Actually, Phoenix, I don't think, has that much in the way of smog either. Wait a minute, Todd. Do you have hay fever? Huh. I've been here too long to get hay fever. I'm used I, to it. I, I will tell you, there's a great place that you can go that a lot of people get there without hay fever and they leave with hay fever. Be well, Air Force. A lot of people that move here and get it right away. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, it, that's the thing is Beale Air Force Base. About 45 minutes north of Sacramento, people get there and they don't have any kind of hay fever or asthma or anything like that. And they leave with hay fever. And it never goes away. I can attest to that. The odd thing is, my daughter was diagnosed with um, asthma in Germany. We got to Beal. Her asthma went away. It's just that area has a lot of odd pollen in, in it. And a lot of, just really a ton of pollen. And some pretty good history in the area. The uh, area on the base known as Three Bridges. Okay. There's a, there's a stoplight. It's one of the main roads across the base well it's the main road from the base to the housing area and the three bridges has stoplights between the bridges and it's only it's actually only two bridges by the way but it's got stoplights there because they uh, are one lane when well one lane bridges because they're built to the specifications of the bridges that were in uh, Europe during World War II. And they were used to practice driving tanks over those skinny bridges. It's like um, one of the villages I lived in, Doodledorf. They, from legend has it that um, the arch going into the walk plots, which is the walking area of the village, there's scrapes on both sides of the arches on both sides of the town or both sides of the walk plots and legend has it that that was caused by Patton driving his tank through there. Legend has it. Well, they're not going to say Patton screwed up the town. <laughs> Even though it's the truth. They might. Yeah, they might. So issue 21 is part of the flooring, part of the mat that's on the floor. And this is one of the issues of here's the part, keep it for hold on to it for safekeeping later. Took it out of the bag anyway because it's really kind of cool to look at this. And it's not to scale of the model, but this is the same material that the flooring in the um, Volkswagen Samba van was really made out of. I was there, I know. And it's gonna go. You know, I, uh, I think I saw, um, I was telling Alex, was it Alex that was building this or Mark? I don't remember. Um, I was saying that it might not be a bad idea. I don't know if you have any, but uh, like some 3M spray adhesive or something like that will hold the back of that down really well. You have some, like, you know, spray adhesive? Yeah. I expect that the... He had problems with it curling up at the edges and stuff, and I'm like, maybe you should just put some spray adhesive down. I mean, if you don't plan on pulling the carpets in and out, yeah, you know, why not back it down? Well, and there's also the um, little tabs. I may do that eventually. Right now, I don't have any spray-on adhesive. I, I do have a big jar of Mod Podge in front of me. Well, I mean, 
anything tacky would work, right? Yeah. And so issue 22 has the other half of the carpet or carpet. I don't see any carpet here. The other half of the rubber pad. Okay. My wife is stealing my booze. Tell her she shouldn't do that. Well, and, and not only is she stealing it, she's smacking it. Again. Oh, she's stealing the good stuff. She's taking the um, the amaretto. Oh no! Damn it! I love amaretto. So all it's showing here in the book, and it got two pages. I think it's only two. Is it two? Yeah, two pages to tell you put these pads down. But it's got pictures showing the little dots, and then another picture showing the little dots on the other, the side other side of the uh, rubber. So they're going to go on. Like that. I think you're right. I may get on Amazon, and if I, if I had the you know the fast Amazon, I could order it, and we could have it by the end of the stream. <laughs> well, you know they have they, know. they have started the old uh, drone deliveries in a couple towns. Yeah, well, Amazon. Some of the Amazon deliveries are now within two hours. And I'm close because, you know, St. Louis is, what, about 30 minutes away? Yeah. I always want to say 45, but it's not that far. And, I'm, I, and can, I see. We can probably guarantee that there's a distribution center there. Yeah. And I can see what you were talking about. I am definitely going to get some spray adhesive to go underneath here because I can see it popping up. Either that or I'm going to set something on it overnight. Some, you know, any kind of adhesive will hold it down, though. So that is the front. Okay, you got the front where the uh, driver and the passenger door is. This is where the um, second and third row seats will go. Let me see where is it. There it is. <coughs> the bumper is going to be right about there. And the bonnet should be somewhere about there. So that, actually, wait, is, is the bonnet over the engine? We have, yeah, we decided the bonnet is always over the engine, regardless of where it is, okay. the, where it is in the car. So that, this might be a little bit further. I'm just looking at it. It looks a little bit small. So let me see. These seats are going to come up. They're going to come up yeah, probably about that size. It's not bad. But that's all I've got for tonight. Wow, that was fast. Only 30 minutes? Only one, one shipment. Wow. That just flew by. Which, yeah, it did. It, well, it's it's going together well. I'm Honestly, this build is just about as enjoyable as the big bus. Hey, look, doors. Oh, I, I gotta, I gotta play with my parts. You know that. Mm -hmm. And then the wheels will be on directly underneath. The only part that I have that I, or that I put together that I haven't put on yet. Oh, lean that the, front. Bumper. Lean it on the door. Probably. Huh? Lean it on the door. Yeah. There you go. 
What's even better is, is that the right view? No, that's the back view. <laughs> if I set it like that, it's starting to look like a van, a VW van. It is a very sad one, but right now it's okay. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to the seeing how they do the uh, windows because the front windows are going to open. I like it. Yeah. Thanks, Rocky Dave. Ball. Sorry, I looked. I'm looking at the YouTube chat, and I got there before you, you did. got to you got us. There before Streamline did it in. Well done, Buck. Quick build. Keep up the good work. Yep. So, nice and quick. And see, you're not that way. You're not keeping the uh, the UK guys up too late. Yeah. Well, and, and that's the thing is, um, we talked about it Monday, and we I tried, but I did stage and a half on Monday, and it was two hours. Of course, the power problem at the end was uh, what made it did that. So I'm gonna I'm trying to cut down my streams on these builds to about an hour, ninety minutes tops. Partially for the UK guys, partially because I'm beat after an hour and a half stream or two hour stream. So appreciate you guys stopping by, all five of you. If you are just now joining, it's a short stream, so you can go ahead and go go back to the beginning and watch from the um, beginning. Um, like and subscribe. Come over to Hobby Time Modelers on both in on both. I almost said the internet on both Facebook and YouTube, and join us. We. As of this afternoon, we're up to 435 subscribers. To be honest, I'm shooting for 1,000 by the end of summer. Wow. If we make it great. If we don't, that's okay, too. So, I, what were you going to say, Todd? I just said excellent. Yep. So, have a great evening. Have a great day tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. And I will see you on Friday for our live stream at 8 p.m. CST, middle of the night in uh, the UK, 9 p.m. Eastern, 10, or what is it? What is it? It's going to be 6 p.m. Pacific and early in the morning on, in Australia. Have a great evening, and we'll talk to you later.